Hello everyone and welcome back to Core Monsters Finals 2. Today we are going to be going into freestyle to see who we will crown as the champion. Our field of trucks today is Busted Knuckles driven by Christian Holt, last season's freestyle champion. Cotton Mouth driven by Lonnie Hall. Dog Gone Crazy driven by Todd Yates. Eagle Eye driven by James Whitaker. High Voltage driven by Damon Newton. Loud Pedal driven by Mike Maxwell. Outlaw Thunder driven by Trip Cassidy. Rat Trap driven by Randall Boone. Reckless Red driven by Opal Baxter. Sinful Addiction driven by Keith Johnson. Tonka driven by Phil Butler. And Try Me driven by Jack Schroeder. Now going into freestyle, the order of trucks coming out is going to be High Voltage coming out first, Dog Gone Crazy following him up, then Eagle Eye and Sinful Addiction, Tonka followed by Cotton Mouth, Outlaw Thunder followed by Loud Pedal, Try Me followed by Reckless Red, and then Rat Trap followed up by Busted Knuckles, the current reigning freestyle champion. Now today's max scores are going to be 40. Out first, High Voltage driven by Damon Newton. This is going to be a driver change going forward. We have moved Damon Newton into the high voltage chassis and truck. Here we go. There was a good first hit there for Damon. Kind of searching around for the next hit. Gets lined up though right over the van stack. Nice air into a great slap wheelie. Very nicely done there. Very good truck control so far, keeping it kind of timid, kind of looking at the track. Very, very nicely done. Big Sky Willie up and over the big box truck stack there. That was beautifully done. Coming up for the racing lane, it looks like it's going to get a good bit of air off the car at the end. Awkward bounce as he tries to get the slap wheelie out of it. The suspension wasn't settled, so the truck kind of moved around and he had to get out of it instead of rolling it over. Here we go right back for the van stack again. Nicely done. Very good control. Let's it come down nice and soft. Looks like we're going to go into some donuts here just inside of 30 seconds on the clock. Very good donuts as it starts to hike up. You can hear it. Hear the RPMs build. Good air off the racing lane. Beautiful. Clears the entire car stack. Looks like we have time for one, maybe two more hits. Probably just the one, though. It's going to be big air. Oh, he gets it up and oh my goodness. Pops up off the dirt in an awkward way and can't quite climb it over. But that is a score of 26 for Damon Newton in high voltage. A very good start here for finals two. Now, doggone crazy. Driven by Todd Yates. I'm excited to see what this guy is going to be able to do here as he has shown really really good driving throughout the season that's what landed him a spot here in the finals there we go first hit was good air his driving skill really showed this season I want to see just how he can continue to improve up and over the van stack good hit very nice air truck stayed nice and flat through the air Looks like we're going for the container, one of the, fir the first truck to hit the container. Nicely done, up and over, kind of catches it on the way down, brings it down awkwardly, but still great control. Gonna get it turned back around yet again. Looks like we're going to avoid the box truck stack, I don't blame him. That's got to be a scary sight in front of you. Good air off the dirt ramp, and I don't blame him avoiding. Oh, oh, well, he moved the van. We may have to fix that. I don't know what the track officials are going to want to do. Coming up on 30 seconds remaining in the run, but it has been a good, solid run so far. Very nice sky wheelie there for Todd Yates. Wow. Now, I don't know if the momentum has been quite as good as what we saw from Damon Newton. Now, keep in mind, this is Dog's first finals. Or Dog Gone Crazy's first finals, and... So Todd Yates never did. What a huge, huge slap will he gets him in trouble, but he's able to bring it back down, saves it. He's going to end it there. That's a score of 32, though. That was a fantastic last hit there for him. Now, James Whitaker and Eagle Eye, the bar just got raised right in front of him. He knows he's going to come out and throw down. This is the racing champion. Keep that in mind. We're starting with donuts. You know, he ended with donuts yesterday after winning the racing championship. So now coming out right into some donuts he's feeling good he's feeling pumped up can he go for both 
championships this season. A lot of momentum following him after yesterday. There we go. Good hit off the racing lane. Matt's the throttle, but just can't quite get the nose up. It's all right, though. He is immediately going for the next hit. Looks like the box truck stack. Yes, he does. Right up and over. Beautiful. James Whitaker really has come out here in finals. Gets in on the fan vote, and he's just come out and really shown out and shown what he's capable of. I'm interested to see going forward how he's going to, to go. Oh, up and over the box stacks. That was beautifully done. First truck to make that attempt, and he did it beautifully. Inside of 30 seconds remaining now. Going to hit the back of the van. Lines it back up with the stack. Back up and over the box trucks again. Beautiful. Rolls out to the wall. Is he lining up for the big hit? Maybe he is. It is a big hit off the dirt. He does jump to the side. That's smart. As you see, he would have come up short, and he would have been right on the dirt ramp there. Very, very smart move. He tries to get it into some more donuts, catches the dirt berm, and that's going to be the end of the run for him. But that is a score of 30, so it's not going to be enough to win the championship here in freestyle, but still a very good showing. Now, sinful addiction coming out. Keith Johnson, excited to see what he's going to do. Big hit there right over the van sack, coming out and swinging. This truck has fought him all season. He's hoping to be able to do something with it here. As we're getting turned back around here, just really struggling to get the truck turned. You can see how wide he's sweeping to get the truck turned around. Nice sky wheelie off the car stack there. Looks like we're lining up back for the van stack again. Beautifully done, up and over. Gets the slap wheelie nicely done. Brings it down just in time to get it woed up and turned around. Next hit. Up over the dirt ramp. Big sky wheelie off the back side of the ramp. Beautifully done. Gets a slap wheelie even on the downhill slide. That was beautifully done. Great truck control. Looks like we're going to get some donuts here at 30 seconds remaining. Keith Johnson really coming out and throwing down a great run. Been a eater so far. Best momentum we've seen up and over the container. Man, what a hit. Doesn't get a lot of air, but really just pops the nose up. and goes up and over that in a very violent fashion. That was beautifully done there for Keith Johnson. Here we go. Looks like he's lining up for the back of the container trucks. Up, and it's on its back it's gonna fall on its lid they shut him off but that is a score of 33 for Keith Johnson and sinful addiction to take the lead now Phil Butler coming out in Tonka this is his first finals ever and he did qualify third for racing just yesterday there we go nice first hit up and over the van now unfortunately he didn't make it make it all the way through racing after that great qualifying run very, very well done so far for his first finals. What a great hit there. Big air. Going straight for the big obstacles here. Going up and over. Bouncing on the front end as it comes down. Really coming out. Not afraid to just hit anything that gets in his way. Up and over the box truck. Beautifully done. I will say this has got to be one of the brightest trucks in the field, though. Look at all those colors. Big air. Beautiful jump there for Phil Butler. Really just picking up the momentum here. Following what Keith Johnson did just before him, which was a great run. Doesn't quite get it up and over cleanly. That was starting to be a beautiful hit there. Still a very nice hit, though. Going for the container. Gets it awkwardly. It's going to go up on its side. Can he bring it back over? No, he cannot. It's going to go over on the lid. Score of 30, though. For Phil Butler and Tonka, what a great score for a short run. Now, Lonnie Hall coming out in Cottonmouth. Now, keep in mind, this chassis is relatively new to Lonnie as he just got in this a couple of weeks ago. Beautiful first hit. As you can see, the top three there in the bottom right corner. Let's see if Lonnie Hall can put his name on that list. He is definitely going to try. This has been a very, very good 
chassis as it was under rat trap before and we know Lonnie knows how to drive so I would expect that this is going to be a threatening run for for the win here so far it's been great with huge momentum coming out huge hits really just point and shoot is what's going on here not afraid of any obstacles right up and over the box truck beautifully done avoids going for the slap wheelie there. I don't know if he didn't like how the truck felt or what was going on but looks like here we go Lonnie Hall is gonna go for the signature move there we go gets a small power wheelie not what we normally see out of him I don't know if that's just something to do with the new chassis under the truck or if he just didn't get it quite quite wound up enough before he let off is he trying again no he's lining up looks like he's gonna line up for the big double I don't know if he's going to be able to hit it with 15 seconds left. Why not go for it, though? Here we are. Big jump up and over. Huge air lands hard on the nose. Truck seems to be in one piece, though, and he is going to continue. And he is turning it right back around. Is he going to get one more hit in, in time? He most definitely is. Huge sky wheelie. What a fantastic run for Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth with a score of 35, taking the lead. Next up, Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder, yet last year's racing champion. Can he come out and get himself another championship here? Lines up for the box truck to start. Beautifully done. Just goes right up and over with a great pop. Kind of searching for the next hit here. Here he goes right up to the racing lane. Nicely done. Here we go. Going for up and over. Now, there are campers out there. I didn't mention them last run when Lonnie was out, but they were there for Lonnie as well. Speaking of Lonnie and Outlaw, Outlaw lost to Lonnie in the final or in the semifinals in racing yesterday. That was last season's final where Tripp had outrun him just last year. Big air there for Trip Cassidy over the racing lane. Slows it down just before the containers. Turn it around. Where is he headed next? Looks like we're going up and over slowly. Oh, what a hit as he goes over the campers. Bounces off the dirt berm and onto his lid. Score of 29 for Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder. It's not going to be enough to take the lead. Now, loud pedal coming out. Mike Maxwell. Been a very, very strong truck all season long. I would expect that he's going to come out and throw down. He wants to get his name on the top of that leaderboard. Up over the box truck. Nicely done. Great slap wheelie on the way down as he combos it up to the cars there. So far, a very good showing for Mike Maxwell as he has come out strong. Going for big air up and over the campers. Lands just to the side of the ramp. Smart move. We've seen a couple of trucks case that dirt berm and really get themselves in precarious situations. So far, wow, massive air for Mike Maxwell into a huge slap wheelie. That was beautifully done, much better than we saw earlier from Damon Newton in that exact combo. Nicely done, Mike, as he's going to go up and through. He's going to land on his side, though. Does it come back? It does. Just kind of comes across on the nose. 30 seconds remaining in the run. Is he going to be able to continue or... They are letting him refire, so he will continue the run. What a wild hit there and a fantastic save. Mike Maxwell really getting everybody pumped up out here. What can he do to top that off as we end the run? 15 seconds remaining. Big air over the box trucks. Getting it turned around immediately, looking for the next hit. Up and over the container. Big hit over the container. It's on the right front again, and he's able to bring it down. Beautifully done. Mike really out here just showing off. Man, can he drive. Beautiful run. Time's up, so anything remaining will be for the fans. Looks like he's going to give us some donuts here to end it out. But beautifully, beautifully done. What a run for Loud Pedal. I'm sure we'll be seeing scores come in here pretty quick. There it is. Score of 37. Not quite perfect, so there is some room as we have some major contenders still to come. Like this one, Jack Schroeder coming out and try me. 
very, very strong freestyle truck. Been a real threat since the beginning. And I would suspect that he's going to be a threat here again today. Very good first hit over the container into a little bit of a slap. Willie is he's going to get turned around. Looks like we're going to go up the racing lane. Big air. Go lining up. Looks like we're going for the container trucks here. Up and over. Nicely done. Smoother hit than we just saw from Mike Maxwell, but not nearly the wow factor that we saw. Jack Schroeder just looking for everything. It's in his way. He's going to hit it. Good air over the racing lane there. Looks like we're going for the dirt stack here. Up over through the containers. Beautifully done. Blows through the containers. Pops it up and over the dirt with a beautiful wheelie. Absolutely gorgeous hit. Cross threads the box truck. Bounces awkwardly up onto the side. He can't bring it back. Score of 35 for Jack Schroeder and Drymey, but what a fantastic run. I think the score might even be just a little low. Now, Opal Baxter and Reckless Red has been a threat, man, all season. Really just been strong everywhere she's been. But this is her first finals. She had a good showing in racing yesterday. So I don't know how her nerves are going to be today here going into freestyle. But like I said, this is her first finals. It is not the truck's first finals. Reckless Red has been at the finals. What a hit! Awkwardly on the nose, but she's able to stay in it and get it corrected. But like I said, not the truck's first finals. Last year, the truck was here, just Opal was not. Big hit over the container. Beautifully done. Opal is hitting everything and hitting it with an aggression. Just coming out swinging. Off to the side, up on two, comes across to the other two. The control to bring it back down. Wow. Beautifully done, Opal. What is the next hit going to be? Everything she hits, she's just really making the entire run a wow factor. This is the most wow factor we've seen so far, and Mike Maxwell really set a high bar for wow factor. What's she doing? Lining up. Going for it. Big air up and over. Beautiful landing. Really showed Lonnie Hall how to land a huge jump right there. Beautiful, beautiful into some great donuts. Look at the truck so settled as she's just planted to the floor. Five seconds remaining as she comes out. Is she going to get another hit in? She is just in time. Up and over the containers. Up on the lid on the front tires as she brings it down. Perfect score of 40 for Opal Baxter. Is she going to be the solo champion, or will somebody tie that? Now, Randall Boone coming out in Rat Trap knows that the bar just got set at the very top, and he has to really throw it down. This should be a huge run, or it's going to have to be to follow. Great slap, Willie, to start the run as he goes over the box truck stack. Great momentum so far, staying planted up over the van. Big air, absolutely massive air off the van stack. A lot of guys getting more distance now instead of getting vertical off of these cars. As they've gotten worn in, the cars have really given up. So we're just seeing trucks soar instead of fly. That's a terrible, terrible way of putting that for me. But very nice hit there for Rat Trap as he lands on the side of the the side of the tires he's able to bring it back down I don't know if he's quite matching the momentum that we just saw from Opal before him but Randall with a great run so far awkward landing there really puts him in a position up and over the container trucks beautifully done 30 seconds remaining in the run looks like we're going to get some donuts here from Randall Boone Look at the speed in these donuts, the momentum that he builds up in these. It is absolutely phenomenal to watch the donuts. Big air through the campers up the backside of the other dirt ramp and cross threads the box truck. Beautiful. What a great combo move there for Randall Boone. Absolutely well done. Tries to cross thread the van. It's going to get him put up on his front end. He's not going to be able to save it. That is a score of 37 for Randall Boone. It is not enough. And that means the last truck out, Christian Holt, coming out and busted knuckles. The bar has been set so high by Opal Baxter. 
But the last year's reigning champion really wants to come out and throw down, wants to back up last season with another one. But a very high bar set up over the container onto the front tires. Oh, a lot of momentum in those wheel speed. It's going to kick him on the lid. Score of 20. Very, very unfortunate end there for Christian Holt and Busted Knuckles. I'd say end, end, also start. What a very short run. But congratulations to Opal Baxter and Reckless Red coming out and getting the freestyle championship here at Finals 2. Overall results, Reckless Red with a 40, Loud Pedal with a 37, Rat Trap with a 37, Cottonmouth and Try Me with a 35, Sinful Addiction with a 33, Dog Gone Crazy with a 32, Eagle Eye with a 30, Tonka with a 30, Outlaw Thunder with a 29, High Voltage with a 26, and then very unfortunate run, Busted Knuckles with a score of 20, rounding out the field here today at Core Monsters Finals 2. I cannot wait for next season to see what the champions are going to do, to see what everyone's going to do, and even the new trucks coming in. I'm excited, guys. Please stay along for the ride with us, but we'll see you at the start of the 2002 season. Y'all have a good one.